Hello again everyone and welcome back to another exciting video tutorial. In this video I am going to show you a super easy way to factor any second degree polynomial whose leading coefficient is other than 1. As you can see in our example our leading coefficient is what? 6. So this method is also called no fuss factoring method. It's called what? No fuss factoring method. So just keep in your mind we call this time. So one more thing to keep in mind that second degree polynomials are also called quadratic polynomial. They are essentially the same thing. They are synonymous. So they are essentially same thing. Let's go ahead and get started with our example and find the factors using no fuss factoring method. So very first thing we're going to do is we're going to just put down two parentheses exactly the way I am doing it. Now, the next step is I want to just write down this portion only. Just disregard the exponent part. So write down 6x and 6x in another parenthesis as well. Second step, I want you to multiply 6 and 5 these numbers on both ends. So 6 and 5 is going to give us 30. Can you now tell me what are the possible factor could be for 30 that could give us, if we add or subtract or give us 13? Yes, that's right. These are what? 3 and what? 10 that could if we add them that's going to give us positive 13 since there's a plus sign so we're going to stick a plus sign with both of these numbers so we got positive 3 and what positive 10 let's go ahead and put down positive 3 in the first parentheses and put down positive 10 in the second parentheses and very last step, look at in the first parentheses, we have a numbers what, 6 and 3. These both numbers are divisible by 3 at the same time. And look at in the second parentheses, 6 and 10 are divisible by 2 at the same time. So once we divide by these numbers, our complete factors going to become what? 2x plus 1 times 3x plus 5. And these are our factors for our given example. And this is our complete answer. Let's go ahead and do one more example just like this one to make sure that we grasp this idea. In the second example you can see once again that uh, we have the leading coefficient is not 1 so we're going to be applying the same method. The very first step once again we're going to be following the same step as we did in the previous example. You just put down two parentheses. Second step, write down 15x, this part only. 15x in the first parentheses and 15x in the second parentheses. Second step, multiply this 15 by this number 8. 15 times 8. 15 times 8 is of course it is what? 120. So now we must find the possible factors 
in order to get this number, negative 22. So could you tell me what are the possible factors going to be for 120 that could give us 22 with a negative sign? Well, there are many different ways people can do. So let me show you a little bit simpler method to do this one, okay? 15, I can write down 15 as what? I can break it down to 3 times 5, and 8 could be broken down to what? 2 times 4. So in other words, 120 could be written as 3 times 5 times 2 times what? 4. So let's go ahead and see if we can come up with a, some kind of a combination or arrangement. So what I am going to do is, how about if I multiply 2 times 5, which is 10. And let's go ahead and multiply 3 times 4. That is going to give us what? 12. Well, now you can see that 10 and 12, if we add them, we can easily get 22. But the problem is we got a negative sign with a 22. So that's not a big kind of issue. We can do this one. We can stick a negative sign with both of them. So we got what numbers? Negative 10 and negative what? 12. So these are going to be our numbers that we're going to write down in our parentheses. So let's go ahead and write down negative 10 in the first parentheses and negative 12 in the second parentheses. Our final step is look at this 15 and 10. So these numbers are divisible by 5 at the same time and likewise 15 and 12 are divisible by what? 3 at the same time. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. What we're going to get? 5 goes into 15, 3. So we got a 3x minus 5 goes into 10 twice times another parentheses. This becomes simply 5x minus 4. And that's it. Piece of cake. These are our factors for our example number 2 and that is our final answer well that wraps up our this tutorial if you like this video please share with your family and friends thanks for watching bye